This first story, um, it's not that big, but it 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 trips me out. Not trips me out, but my 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 wife falls for this all the time. And what I'm talking about is the panhandlers that's on the side of the road. Now, this story in D.C. This man, this homeless man, this first of all, this TikToker, this famous TikToker was doing a good deed, and I guess her, uh, she felt bad, because we all, listen, if they're doing a job, you're going to feel bad for them. You're going to feel bad for them if they're doing a job correctly, but majority of them are scams. I'm sorry, I don't believe in that, and if they are truly homeless, in my opinion, in my opinion, just mine, everybody's hiring. You can find a job. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not buying it, but the wife, she falls for that shit. She get the crying and want to, she get all her, her anxiety goes high. I just ignore them. Tell them, don't touch my car and get away from my, no, I'm not giving you nothing. But, but make a long story short, this TikToker saw this homeless man because he asked her for some tea and he, she felt compelled to donate so she, she, she had this campaign, uh, this, uh, uh, this campaign, I'm sorry, a GoFundMe campaign and it raised $400,000, $400,000 for this homeless man. But the thing about this homeless man, well, let's just go to the story. I'll let you figure it out. I'll let you, I'll let you figure it out. In the neck with a screwdriver. Oh, let me start over. Here we go. Let's start it over so it can be fresh. Here we go. goes by Alonzo tonight. I exclusively spoke with a woman who says years ago here in D.C., he beat her up when she was homeless, and now she's only sharing the heroin details with Fox 5. The attack was caught on camera, and we want to warn you, it may be difficult to watch. This is exclusive video you will only see on Fox 5. Police say Alonzo Douglas Hebron... He says, I do not understand how a human being can act like this. He's a sociopath. He does not have a sense of remorse. The victim, who wants to remain anonymous for safety reasons, says she woke up at the hospital not remembering what exactly happened to her. She's sharing these photos of the aftermath. Is this the man who assaulted you? Yep. The victim claims Hebron is known as a violent and dangerous person in the homeless community. So we, here, That's know. why she says watching so this viral TikTok know. video is triggering. I've been struggling since then. I'm uh, an alcoholic in recovery. Uh, last week was my 18 month uh, anniversary. And the last two days, yeah, I came close. I didn't, because uh, he's not worth it. After an hour. We However, she does not fault the young lady for trying to help someone. I was heartbroken. Heartbroken. Uh, I mean, first of all, kudos to the woman who did this. She meant well, and I do applaud her for that. Uh, I know it was a lot of work for her to do so. But portraying him as something he just simply isn't. Records reveal back in November 2012, Hebron was sentenced to five years in prison for stabbing a man in the neck with a screwdriver during a fight on Queen Street in Northeast D.C. The suspect's past also includes other assaults and robberies. According to D.C. courts, Hebron was released to a halfway house last year in June 2023. He escaped and then was returned by the U.S. Marshal Service. It's not clear when he was released. Why is he on the street? How many people does he have to hurt before? I'm sorry, it's locked up for good. He will not stop. I don't know what they're waiting for. Now, the victim you just heard from wants to make it clear. It's not about the more than $400,000 that was raised for Alonzo. She's sharing her story because she does not want anyone else to get hurt. 
the man in that viral TikTok video goes. Wow. Now, listen, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. I have, I have a question, though. Now, the money, the money, uh, the uh, money he raised. Now, he, he didn't raise it. The, 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 another young lady raised it for him. Now, yes, he has a criminal record and everything. Yes, yes, yes. My question is this. Does he still deserve that money? Is it rightfully his? Is it his fault that the person who raised the money, who did the who who uh, started the GoFundMe account, is it really her fault that she didn't do a background check or a criminal background check on this individual? And my question is, does it really matter? Now, I don't agree with what he did. No, I do not. But at this point, lawfully and legally, does he really get that four hundred thousand dollars, even though he's a quote unquote allegedly? Uh, sociopath who likes to go around beating on allegedly uh, women is the, hey, does, does he still deserve that money legally? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, that's a good question. Now, I mean, I mean, well, you know what? Technically, the girl, the money went to the girl, so. I mean, no, 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 no. You said well, you said I mean, the money. What? I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure the GoFundMe account that that the girl set up. She's probably in charge of the GoFundMe account. She could probably take that money and give it to something else. Right? No, 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 no. That's no. That that's not okay. my question. My question was and deserve? is: Does he still legally or lawfully deserve it? Even though the background check, whatever, wasn't done, or, or, or they didn't find out that he was this type of person. Now that the money is raised. Do you have the right to take it back? Um, that's the question. Right. That's the question. Yeah. Uh, no. I, I, I don't think so, honestly. Yeah. Even though I don't agree with what he yeah. did, you raised the money for him. He is homeless. Right. Now, if he chooses to be homeless, and I might even go, that, that's a whole nother can of worms. I, I, I don't know. First of all, what is he going to do with the money? If he's truly homeless and he's been homeless for a while, Mm -hmm. Of course, he doesn't have any money management skills. Right. So what is he going to do with the money? He doesn't have a checking account. I would doubt that very seriously. What is he going to do with $400,000? That's the question. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of questions. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of questions. I, I, I just don't get that. <laughs> I don't get that. I just <laughs> found that... Uh, I, just, I just found that very, very interesting. Uh, one... I don't believe I, I don't believe in the uh, the panhandling thing. I, I just don't believe in that. Two, Man. if you did look up and come up on a lick, which that is a lick, you came up on a lick. Mm -hmm. A TikToker saw your desk, saw your situation, and you put on the uh, act so well, or not that you put on the act, you looked so distraught and so down that she had the wherewithal to go and start mm -hmm. a GoFundMe mm -hmm. and raise $400,000 for you. $400,000. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Then after that, they found out that you yeah. were in prison for stabbing someone in, yeah. in the neck with a screwdriver. Wow. wow. A screwdriver. And then you just, for no reason, <laughs> assaulted this lady we just saw. But you got the money. Mm -hmm. in this. Wow. I, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't, listen. This uh, only in America, seriously, only in America. Did he, did he beat her while she was drunk? I, I have no idea. I mean, I, she, I, just, she did say she was a recovering alcoholic. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> you, you know, that's <laughs> I'm, crazy. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm yeah, but what? But uh, what was the relevancy of what, what she was drunk or not? I mean, I'm, I'm talking about she. She talking about he. He assaulted her. So I mean, I'm just asking: Was you drunk at the time he assaulted you? Okay, so again, my question, so my my again, my question, yeah, sir, again, my question to you is, what was the relevancy of that question, of her being drunk or not? What is the relevance? What is the relevancy of that question? I'm just asking uh, um, if you have yet to answer that. I mean, I'm, I mean, she's, I mean, she's saying it's not about him getting the money, but she, but she's making a making a fuss about who he is and what he's done to her. So I mean I'm just I'm just saying she you know she, oh no uh, she no stop it I mean cause... stop stop it stop it uh, okay. exactly right. you didn't right. answer the I'm oh my god you go. done right. just 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 just, just let it go let this go. is what I got to put up with <laughs> this is what I okay wow.
Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. I, mean, I, still, I still rock with you. You, you good. Relax. You, you, you had your moment. It was an <laughs> epic fail. But you, 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 you have a chance to redeem yourself. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. You have a chance to redeem yourself. Ta! <laughs> Ain't nobody, ain't, no, ain't, 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 ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis.